Hi guys, this is Mutek back again with another video. This video is a flashing of the Alpha ROM on the Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch from Sprint. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to reboot into recovery. Um, now if you haven't checked out my video on the Cyanogen Mod Review, go ahead and check out that video. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into here. So we're already in here. So let's go to wipe cache partition. Let's wipe it. Advanced. Wipe Davit cache. Yes. And then back install from a zip from SD card go down to where the um, file lives for alpha mod wait till that's done it doesn't take as long as um, cyanogen mod 10 does so that is really great so it should co go really quick here and then after you download this uh, for Alpha ROM, you're going to want to download the Google Apps package as it will not be on there if you don't do that. So you won't be able to log into My Play Store, your Gmail account. Um, you won't be able to download apps or any of that without the um, Google's app in, um, package installed right after this. So um, I'm going to put a link down in the description below to both of these, ROM, the ROM and um, the Google um, Maps and everything like that. So now we're going to go install the Google Pack. Yes. And here we go. Now this is going to go really, really quick. The Google um, app, it's only like, I think, 88, 86 megabytes or something like that. And also, the Alpha ROM 6 is only 100 and something megabytes too, compared to the Cyanogen Mod ROM, which is 336 megabytes. Um, so there, there we have it. They're both done. Go back, reboot system now. I didn't restore mine the factory default settings because I wanted to keep my messages and stuff on there. Um, so yeah, it's it's uploading now. So let's see this see the startup menu there you go that's how you know that you are in with alpha 6 ROM and this once again is the epic 4G touch from Sprint this may take some time on the first boot up don't get worried this is um, normal when you're installing any ROM and then this is also normal to optimizing apps of whatever apps because I didn't delete my apps either so that's why it has to op optimize all those apps seventy two I have ninety four almost done here it's about 90 out of 94 now so shouldn't be that long much longer and there we go now it's starting apps it's done optimizing them and now you get your same thing that you did on San Mod 10 here Google now camera unlock or sprint which there's nothing down there for that unlock you get your same thing you get your Google now what's the weather like it's 90 degrees and partly cloudy in Highland what's today's date it is Monday September 24th 2012 so there you go that was a quick look at Google now so let's jump back in here settings to show you this is jelly bean and there's the build number for the ROM 
There it shows that it's jelly bean. And there you go, it says Android 4.1.1 jelly bean. And you get your little throwing thing. So stay tuned for my review, my first look around the ROM and everything like that. Um, if this video helped you out, please like, comment, and subscribe as it does help me out a ton. Once again, this is Smooth Tech. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.